Hello, welcome to your Easter revision course. Not exactly uh, the kind of circumstances we would have envisaged, but uh, nevertheless, we'll do our best and uh, we'll give you a very, very good overall review of your physics course to prepare you for your Leaving Cert exam in June. My name is Kieran Mills and I teach physics at the Academy. Now, in this first lesson of your Easter revision course, I want you to go to these notes, uh, your final revision guide. That guide is a nice little pack. That guide contains a summary of everything you need to know for your Leaving Cert physics course. It's like your little Bible. All your definitions, all of your experiments, all of the methods and techniques that you need to use are contained in that revision guide. So I'll be referring to that revision guide throughout our course. So you've got in front of you, amongst many notes, you've got your final revision guide. Let me go to the second page in that guide. We're going to page two. Now I'm going to give you a breakdown of the paper. It's very hard to know how to start revising if you don't know what you're revising for. So this will be a breakdown of the entire physics paper, the kind of techniques that you're going to employ and so on. Well, let's start. Um, there's 400 marks altogether with your physics paper and three hours is the length of time you have to do the paper. Uh, three hours I think is sufficient. I never really hear too much about students running out of time so if you manage your time well three hours is absolutely fine. But I will be talking about how long you should spend on each question as I go through this. Well, there are two sections. You've got section A and you've got section B. Uh, in this particular lesson, I'm going to talk about section A. Section A are the experimental section, is the experimental section. And there are 120 marks for that. The theory section, section B, we've got 280 marks. So we're talking about 30% of the marks are going to the experiments. I could say they're mutually exclusive. So in other words, one section doesn't affect the other section. So you know you're told when you go into an exam to read the entire exam paper. I wouldn't do that in this case. I would go straight to section A. I wouldn't even look at section B. I would suggest that section A is far easier than section B. It's far easier to study for it. The time I'm going to devote to section A would be one hour. I would start with section A. I wouldn't look at section B at this stage. I would try and build up my confidence. We're all a bit nervous going into an exam. Um, we're very eager to find out what questions are being asked. But I would say forget about section B, just start with section A. So section A are the, is the experimental section. 120 marks. How long will I spend on that section? I would say a maximum of one hour. What is the content for that section? Well, there's a list of experiments. And that list of experiments in my notes, I want you to turn to page 10. So in page 10, I have a list of experiments. You know, this is what we call the mandatory experiments, the ones that you do in the lab. You know, if you've done them in the lab, you already know a huge amount about them. So when they ask you questions like, how did you find the mass of ice? You're just going to use your cop on your common sense a lot of the time. So you already know a lot of physics before you go to the exam, simply by uh, being in the lab for two years, being in the classroom for two years. Um, how many experiments are there all together? Well, I've listed them uh, and I've used a code to list them. So you've got mechanics M1 to M8. Now, if you're doing the higher level, they won't ask you to do M1 or M2, whereas M1 and M2 might be incorporated to M3 and M4. So I'm really talking about, when I do this, I'm really talking about doing the experiments from M3 to M8. What about heat? 
There's four heat experiments, H1 to H4. The first two, they don't seem to ask. I think they asked H2, which is the SHC of a liquid or a solid. They asked that once in 2007. But they hardly ever ask it. The reason may be that in the syllabus it says, find the SHC of a solid or a liquid. <clears throat> so they're afraid if they ask you a solid, people who did the liquid will complain. So I suggest that the only experiments that they're going to ask here really are H3 and H4, which are the specific latent heat experiments. Sound, three experiments, they'll ask them all. Light, well, you've got five experiments on light on page uh, 10. And that middle one, L3, they usually only ask on the ordinary level. So you're talking about doing L1, L2, L, L4, and L5. And then the electricity, yes, they'll ask the electricity, E1 to E5. So overall, what am I actually talking about? I'm talking about doing 6 and 2 is 8 and 3 is 11 and 4 is 15 and 5 is 20. We're talking about all together you having to study 20 experiments. That's not a huge, that's not a big deal. Now I'll explain as I go along in this lesson how you prepare for those 20 experiments. You know when you open up your book, an experimental book, and you see the experiment and you've got the method that might go one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 10. Well, you will not have to write out the method in the exam. So what you have to learn about the experiments in order to do section A is actually quite a low, small amount of content. So I'll go through that with you in detail throughout this lesson. Right, let's get back to our paper now. So we have 20 mandatory experiments to learn. I open up my exam paper. I don't go near section A, I open up, sorry, I don't, I don't go near section B, should I say. I go to section A and I have four questions. The first four questions are about the mandatory experiments. You have to do three out of four experiments. Question one appears to be, I'm not saying this, written in, this is written in stone because it may change, but I'm pretty certain of it. Uh, question one is always a mechanics experiment. Has been since this course started. Now this course started quite a long time ago. It started in 2002. So we're going from 2002 to 2019. So you've got, you've got say 20 years of questions. Question one is always mechanics, and question four is always on electricity, which I call E. Then what about the rest? Well, the rest are a combination of your sound, S, your heat, H, and your light, L. 